That's a good one. Someone had asked about cutting Mobius earlier. I think you really need Mobius to be competitive in this metagame. I would not recommend cutting him. Century here, so they can't shake me on Baxter building. Oh, don't you dare. Yeah, dodged it. Yellow Jacket making the void extra big is fun. You vested the Morph Gamer. Icebox didn't hit Mobius, is that even legal? Asking the real questions. Jack, can someone refresh my memory? Does Hercules move every card that moves to his location or only the first card that moves to his location each turn? Only the first. Why can't we take fucking risks with the interesting cards? Like, why, why are the cards they choose to take risks with fucking blob? I just don't... I don't get, I don't get it. Going on, Sun Gotti. Thanks for the uh Thanks for the quarter of a year. Welcome back. No, we didn't get Nico's animation fixed either, apparently. Thankfully, our opponent is allergic to snapping, so we've got that going for us. interesting. I wanted to cut them off a draw, but it's definitely Jade Foster fish up my hammer now, right? I wanted to cut them off an energy, I mean. They said they wanted to actively avoid infinite Hercules loops. Sure.
Well, Shang-Chi is in there. Are they playing Taskmaster? I think we beat that, right? Someone asked, how do we beat um, Blob with this deck? And the answer is you play for all three and punt the path that Blob ends up in. Werewolf, Werewolf gives you some flexibility to control where your power is going to end up at. Which is, which is nice. I feel like the accidental Stegrod buff will probably end up being like a showcase of how many cards they could like give one extra point of power to and have it actually not matter. Stegrod's a 4-6 now. It's really a testament to how shit Stegrod is as a Marvel stab card that people aren't even aware that he was made a 4-7. Or a 4-6 to begin with. No, he's a 4-7 now. Escaped. So he was already a 4-6 and still not playable. Not going to be a werewolf game, so I'm gonna Friendly wait to put a thing over here. Mobius likely doesn't have text in this matchup. Entry into Necrotia lets us play around Shang if they're playing it. Oh, he might have text against Miles. Yeah, that's a good shout. Clear for takeoff. Is it actually this now?
this gives them a chance to fill fill here before we can play something, but I think that's actually fine. I guess their I guess their deck traditionally speaking is not good at filling, huh? SDN, thank you for the two months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Yes, we did get to drop priority and control where Silk ends up at now is nice also. So I I made it so I Annie'd and then Demon to guaranteed Silk wouldn't be over here. Oh my god, we need a 50-50. Got it. Victory. So Kingpin is not symmetrical anymore. So you can play Kingpin with your own silk and it's fine. excited for Hercules when I thought he could move everything because it would be kind of sweet like setting up a Heimdall into his path then kicking everything immediately back out but at just one card per turn you can't really combo him with Heimdall consistently because you're not going to control which is the first one that goes into his path Nico for one more turn in the hood because we could roll the demon mode or the draw mode. It could be right to just shove hood into the left though. one extra card drop. Catch them by surprise. Snap. doesn't jump, but I think that's fine, right?
Does this beat a lieth left? It doesn't, right? This beats a lieth left. Hey, bud. Fuck you and your toxic guard. Thanks. Victory. Um, the people that said I did the yellow jacket in the wrong order. If I go yellow jacket into Annie, the sentry then creates a negative 10 power thing. So I have to go sentry first, so I sentry while this side is full. So my, my yellow jacket sequencing was correct. I got minus one here for the sake of having plus 10 over here. Hey, we stopped and thought about a lion and then we beat it. Yay. Thinking of stopping and thinking chat, I'm gonna think for 120 seconds while you have some wonderful adverts. We'll catch you on the flip side, beer me. YouTube gamers, there's almost 500 of you. Tap the like button if you'd be so kind. Only 224 button pressers so far. Everyone who was talking about, I the, the Annihilus change is one of those changes that like based on people's opinions and reactions of it, it lets you sort out very quickly who understands which changes are super meaningful and which ones aren't. The number of rip annihilus posts I've seen since the leaked changes is just like mind boggling to me. The card is still very powerful and they simply made it more narrow. You talk about data mine cards. I will do an updated data mine card review on the YouTube channel later this week. Probably Thursday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a Hercules video. We'll do a data mine card video Thursday. That's a good, a good shout. Put that in my editor notes. Uh, the patch notes are almost the same as a leaked one. There are a couple of, like, plus or minus one on powers. But that's it. Nothing, nothing, nothing worth making a new video about. At the end of the world. It's kind of sad. Second dinner said the 10 p.m. Central rollover will have it for you. We'll have the card for you if you're missing it. No, Ed. Ah, this is a very little thing. But anytime Asteroid M is in play, and you're playing a three drop with an on reveal, you always want to play the three drop not on Asteroid M, because if your opponent Cosmos you, their Cosmos gonna end here, and then you get your on reveal before your card gets pulled over. Thanks, 
bud. Appreciate you. We're definitely waiting on this. I think it's just this. If they, if they don't play something, uh, you know, one, two, five into here, we'll tie this up. Here. You have copied my hammer. This feels a little quake brainy to me. Anybody else? Because this play like wasn't very good for them. And then I, I don't want to hammer yet because I, uh, I don't want to hammer yet because I don't want Thor to be Shang-Chi on the left just yet. I thought you rage quit because my TV was frozen, but it turned out I just sat on the remote. I think it's really weird when pe there was Friday of last week, I literally lost to a blob, sat in contemplation for a moment, and then silently shut off my stream without saying a word. And the number of you rage quit comments I got from that were honestly very strange to me. Like there was, there was no anger, it was just a, uh, this, this game wasn't very fun for me today, so I'm going to do something else with my time other than sit here and continue playing it. And then, and then in fact, after, after I calmly shut my stream off, I went on and I had a very wonderful afternoon with my beautiful wife and we had a fantastic lunch slash brunch at the Fort Jesse Cafe here in town. And it was, it was a beautiful and wonderful afternoon and day after I decided I wasn't having fun with my video game that day. It was actually a picture perfect skillet. It was very good. Ty Aquarius, thank you for the 14 months. Welcome back. Imagine touching some grass. The audacity. The sheer audacity. Take lots of rage in those photos. <laughs> Alright, so my curve. This is one of those things that to get better at Marvel Snap, these are things you need to think about. My curve for the next two tur the next three turns is Thor Century Annihilus, right? So that means I need to play Spider-Ham this turn because I'm not going to have another window to play any of these other cards before then. And honestly, I think I'm going to snap them. I think our hand is pretty good and we're in a good spot. Because next turn I even get to go Yellow Jacket Thor into the Morag. Although maybe I, maybe I Thor center and then Yellow Jacket Sentry into the Morag. Yeah, that doesn't matter. And that's amazing for us, right? Because um, I'm going to get to put a, a void here that they can't deal with. So that's a that's a freebie. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to send Shuri into more. Ag here is my plan. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Face the might of Asgard. Mjolnir. I logged on that day after you signed off and you weren't on and I literally thought good for him. <laughs> Thanks. Now, the Spider-Man right does mean that if they're on Miss Marvel, they could contest there.
Sure, that's fine. Cosmo could get us here, but other than Cosmo, in a very good spot. You tried the Disney card game at all, so I just don't really have bandwidth to play a new paper card game. And I feel like all of the content creators who are making content with a bootleg third party digital card game client are just like really playing with fire. Okay, I feel like, I feel like you don't want to bootleg mouse stuff. Uh, we spider hammed their Shang-Chi, so I think this is a win. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about Lorcana's gameplay, but I just don't, I haven't had the bandwidth for a paper thing. They, it did sound like they finally solved their supply chain issues though. They had supply chain issues for a while. Victory. Also, it's kind of hard to play multiple card games competitively at once. And I've been playing Genshin's card games, so Snap and Genshin are occupying enough of my brain. Glindum, thanks for the three quarters of a year. Welcome back. Unreal me, thank you for the 31 months. Appreciate it. I'm gonna play any magic this week. I decided the stats for magic weren't good enough. And Wizards of the Coast was still Wizards of the Coast, and I'd rather... Oh my god, I just clicked through playing Zabu. That's a huge mistake. <laughs> oh, man. My brain is bad. Do -da. Do -do 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 do 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 Can you snap me so I can leave, Ron? Should have this in play right now. Said I don't because I'm a big dumb stupid. Escape. At least they didn't snap that play. God bless them. Uh, four extra stat points. I wouldn't have stayed because I messed up. Uh, to the people talking about third-party Lorcana client, please do not say specific names or links in my chat. I don't. I don't want any of the names or promotion of that directly related to my content. It almost assuredly violates some kind of copyright, and you shouldn't be touching it. This is Jeff's official don't fuck with the mouse warning. I'm gonna snap here. Our hand's really good in Adelaide. Un Unironically! I saw people still complaining about Loki on Twitter when I logged on today. My food, my food delivery child was at the door.
We're supposed to get more snow later, so... Christy kept Haley home today tentatively, just so we didn't have to, like, go fetch her in the middle of snow. Oh, this looks like the little bass deck we've played a bit of. Uh, as expected, Jacob ate the Hello Fresh meal and then the others did not. Speaking of, that's actually it's actually my leftovers here. So uh, the ravioli we made last night. Oh, that's actually kind of sweet for us. So I could go Nico into Jane, kick the Jane over, and then the dog ends here plus four, but Jane and Nico are on the right. We tried playing a Nihilus and a Hazmat deck. Hazmat sucks, chat. It's not a playable card. Face the might of Asgard, Mjolnir. As the Genshin Guardian has a competitive mode. They have official tournaments, but they're not run inside of the client. They're run through some Discord servers. But there's a, there's a matchmaking QA client. I'm like, uh, they have a thing where you get an extra prize in game for if you get five wins before you get three losses, like a little gauntlet type thing. So, 
things to note. If I play it on reveal into deep space, the dog will jump into there, but it will not jump back out. Okay, so this might be crazy, call me maybe. But I think I actually want to leave the hood here so that way I can kick it across. Is Kingpin worse than before? I think Kingpin is better than before, but still not good. I think Kingpin has the potential to be good if they fix some of the issues in the format, but in the current format, no, Kingpin does not seem very good. I'm going to draw this hammer, right? I thought you would appreciate this. Went to the SCG this weekend. Top 16 the Sunday 10K and stayed with friends. Still lost over $1,000 on the trip. <laughs> oh, that takes me back. Um... I think I'm going to Enchantress the right. Oh, I could hammer the right and then it Annie's over. I mean, that's not useful though, right? They're getting locked out of play again. I think I just want to make their stuff smaller. I think it's, I think it's just this. Eliath, but a lot of these decks aren't playing Eliath. Also works with Spider-Man. Now nah, that's kind of weird. Unfortunately, playing Enchantress here meant that I was overcommitted to this land. I probably should have just set up Werewolf or played an Eyeless that turn. It's on me. How would you rate these cards so it can prioritize token purchases? Elsa, Werewolf, Blob. Well, I mean, Blob is literally meta-defining one of the best cards in the game, right? And then Werewolf is very playable and fun. And then Elsa is just not very good at the moment. Well, the hawk took away our card draw, it's sad. Sentry the bar? Why am I sentry the bar? I think I would just like get the werewolf card, right? 
Cause I can I can have the werewolf end up in the bar. Oh, yeah, Mobius makes their pig free. I didn't think about that. much as it kind of hurts me to say it, I think the short-term fix for making playing Marvel Snap on stream tolerable is that, except when we play Conquest on viewer days, I think I'm just not going to have, I think I'm just not going to have deck variety on stream, is like the TLDR. There's like a handful of decks that we can sit here and play and I don't feel completely embarrassed playing them so it's not really frustrating to play but I definitely can't like the change decks every every half hour to 90 minutes or whatever every 90 minutes to two hours just like isn't feasible because there's like aren't enough decks that are that truly competitive Good. Thank you for the. Thank you for the uh, two two thirds of a year. Welcome back. Uh, hey, this is fine. Face the might of Asgard. Mjolnir. Still seems fine.
probably supposed to leave here. I'm gonna play Go Fish and see what they do. They're playing Luke Cage, okay? The patch was underwhelming. The patch effectively didn't do anything. <laughs> it's a, it was, a, in terms of metagame impact, the patch was a non-patch. The Miss Marvel change will cause some people to lose some games they would have otherwise won. Is about like the extent of it. I guess, I guess Quake. That's fine. You're right. Quake, Quake's a real Marvel snap card. I don't think she changes which decks are good or bad, but I, I agree that Quake's a real Marvel snap card now. more metagame impactful. Yeah, it's just been over a month since we had an OTA. That was the issue, right? I am allergic to this bullshit yet. Wait, we arrowed me into Mojo World? <clears throat> Excuse me? I feel like <clears throat> I think it's just this I think they're gonna do something to screw with the center <clears throat> and I'm just gonna give it up No, I don't I don't want Werewolf by Night to end bit. I think they're gonna screw at the center. I could not fathom this be I mean I guess they're limping. I guess, I guess they're limping. This is, uh, it's one cube I'm gonna play like you don't have any. Yeah, this one will be a highlight on the secondary channel, <clears throat> the Jeff Ogood channel at some point this week for sure. This deck has felt very reasonable and competitive.
It's a shame they uh, they changed Andy this patch. Otherwise, we would have been able to uh, yellow jacket these for good fun. Yeah, there's not an OTA till the 18th. It's uh, it's not a good scene, gamers. It's not a good scene. I guess, while I know that... While I know that, in general, they don't, um... While I know, in general, they don't do... Patches on... Or they don't usually influence the metagame via patches. I think it would have been nice if this patch, after not having an OTA for almost a month, would have had like some more OTA style changes in it. Uh, yeah, next patch is February 6th, yes. Was the anti change really deserve it? Genuinely curious. They literally said point blank that Annihilus was one of the top performing cards across every facet of their metagame. So, yes, the Annihilus change was deserved. I think it's this if we stay, but I don't know that we're staying. We have priorities, so like... Yes, it obviously wasn't reflected in the public data. Escape. Unironically, there were people in the creator discord server last night that were like trying to argue with the devs that the devs didn't understand their own data and were wrong about Loki and nerfing the collector to make Loki worse. Because for reference, the devs communicated to us that the most winning card inside of Loki was the collector. I just, I can't fathom, the, like people call me arrogant and I'm like, when I, when I feel like I know something, I'm pretty sure of it. But like, the audacity to fucking point blank argue with the developers like you like you know the data you can't see better than them is just like unreal. Gamers were a mistake. Some streamers seem like they have this weird fixation and vendettas against Loki. Loki is really good against the Eliath, Professor X, Shang-Chi piles of bullshit that are like literally the only deck some people can pilot because they're Marvel Snap with fucking training wheels.
and Loki is a card that punishes those style of decks. this and hope to draw any and I'm fine with I don't like playing against Loki and I find playing against Loki frustrating. What I think is truly absurd and nonsense is the number of people as Loki has consistently fallen off in fucking play rate and win rate at every level who are like, this card is absurd, please Escape. nerf it more. Like, that's, that's what I take issue. I will never fault someone for your subjective I don't like these play patterns like that's a personal opinion and you're entitled to that even if I feel differently about the same card but that's a big it's, it's very different than like looking at the devs and being like nah you're wrong collector isn't the winningest card in the deck despite the data that you have I'm sending a message in my my creator one of my creator channels asking if they could prioritize fixing Nico's uh fixing Nico's what's it called? I'm gonna hood just in case an Iolus comes into play here. It's so sad that Ham's the one that got pulled. Storm Raven, thanks for the half a year. Welcome back. Do I want to draw cards here? Yeah, it's probably fine. I think Loki's role is intended to make good cards worse. It'll probably need to fall to leech levels of play to satisfy people. In cut, in the last I checked the data, leech had like 2x the play rate of Loki. As point of reference. So this is my heads up play. We're gonna yellow jacket the sentry so they can't shing Chibi on six. Victory. Which is kind of a really fun, sweet play you can make in this deck. You can duck it on Thor too that way. Just like use this to pull, pull your card down so it's still big but not shangable. I liked this deck a lot. Um, we're definitely there'll definitely be a highlight with this one on the secondary channel later this week. I th I think Werewolf by Night 
ended up in a, a really good spot. And honestly, the anti change was deserved and reasonable, reasonable too. This card's still really good. My takeaway after playing with this deck is the people who were lamenting Annihilus is dead after this change are people who really just don't understand it. Like, like no, nobody was really playing this card with debris anyways and shaving a point of power off this card that's creating massive swings with Sentry and even, even just Hood, right? Like, think, think about it this way. Hood plus Annihilus alone is nine, it's 15 power for seven energy spread out over the board and that disrupts one of your opponent's slots. Right? Like that's, that's a lot of stats. And that's even, that's not even counting the fact that Sentry plus Annihilus is 26 points of power for nine energy, right? And maybe you get to do all of them sometimes as well. And another thing someone mentioning Miss Marvel, Annihilus is still disruption into Miss Marvel with Hood and even this by like doubling up their things they have on the side, yeah? All right, gamers, it's about that time. We're going to add break.